Pacific Gas and Electric Company PG&E, recently announced that PG&E customers can save $3,000 on the purchase of a new 2018 Nissan Leaf electric vehicle EV. This offer adds to existing state and federal discounts available to customers in California to help support the state's clean transportation goal of having 5 million zero-emission vehicles on the road by 2030. At any authorized Nissan dealership, interested customers can show a recent copy of their PG&E bill, a valid photo ID and the flyer with the fleet certification code found here. Family members are also eligible if they prove with a driver's license that they reside at the same address as the customer on the PG&E bill. The discount is taken off the manufacturer's suggested retail price for the purchase or finance of a 2018 Nissan Leaf EV and is available through July 2, 2018. Steve Malnight, PG&E Corporation's Senior Vice President of Strategy and Policy said, Electric vehicles are a critical part of creating cleaner air and meeting California's climate goals. Making it easier for customers to adopt EVs helps drivers reduce their environmental impact while supporting our clean energy future, a win for both our customers and the state. In addition to the discount offered by Nissan, other available incentives could further reduce the cost of a Nissan Leaf EV by approximately 50%. PG&E recommends customers research other discounts and incentives, including 1. Federal tax credit, customers could be eligible for up to $7,500 in federal tax credits. PG&E recommends customers review details closely and consult a tax accountant or certified public accountant for specific information. 2. California State Rebate Customers could be eligible for an additional $2,500 off the Nissan Leaf through the California State Rebate administered by the California Air Resources Board. 3. PG&E's Clean Fuel Rebate PG&E Residential Electric customers who are EV drivers can apply for the company's one-time $500 clean fuel rebate. The rebate is part of California's statewide low-carbon fuel standard initiative, which aims to reduce transportation-related greenhouse gas emissions by encouraging the adoption of clean fuels like electricity. 4. PG&E customers living in areas such as San Joaquin Valley could be eligible for additional EV discounts. Committed to increasing adoption of clean vehicles in the state, PG&E continues its efforts to make it easier for customers to make the switch to EVs. On PG&E's residential EV rate plans, customers pay the equivalent of $1.20 per gallon to charge their vehicle overnight. Customers can learn more about EVs by viewing PG&E's online resources and get help determining which rate plan makes sense for them. Recently, PG&E announced that its customers can save $10,000 on the purchase of a new 2017 or 2018 BMW i3 or i3 SUV through May 31, 2018. At any authorized BMW dealership, interested customers can show a recent copy of their PG&E bill in the filled-out BMW customer information form found here. Through its EV Charge Network program, PG&E aims to help accelerate the adoption of EVs in California by increasing access to charging. Partnering with business customers and EV charging companies, PG&E will install 7,500 EV chargers at condominiums, apartment buildings and workplaces across Northern and Central California, including its sites in disadvantaged communities. Note. While does not explain why PG&E favors the LEAF over other equally capable EVs, the idea is worth pursuing by other utilities as a great way to encourage power purchases. After a decade of efficiency efforts by other industries, the utility industry has struggled with about 1% annual growth. The EV industry seems like a great opportunity to boost that figure. Ideally, the power to recharge such EVs should come from the state's many wind farms.
Subaru has unveiled the new fifth generation of the Forester crossover at the New York International Auto Show. The 2019 Subaru Forester is based on the new Subaru Global Platform and showcases driver focus, a distracted driving prevention technology. Also key to the new announcements for the 2019 Forester is Subaru's plan to make its EyeSight Advanced Safety and Driver's Aid System standard equipment on all Forester models. This includes the base model Forester through the four trim levels to the new sport trim level. Subaru's symmetrical all-wheel drive also remains standard on the Forester. The 2019 Subaru Forester is powered by an updated 2.5-liter four-cylinder opposed piston engine that produces 182 horsepower and 176 pound-feet of torque, a boost of 12 horsepower and 2 pounds FT from the 2018 model year. This is achieved through direct fuel injection and a higher compression ratio for the engine. Active valve control for the exhaust has also been added, improving efficiency. The new generation 2.5L is connected to a reprogrammed continuously variable transmission CVT, for better power delivery and fuel economy. The CVT-equipped 2019 Forester is expected to get up to 33 mpg on the highway. Subaru has not yet published official EPA-certified fuel economy figures. The sport and touring trims of the 2019 Forester will feature manual mode paddle shifters on the steering wheel which caused the CVT to cycle through seven simulated gears. Much of the focus for the new 2019 Subaru Forester is on the inclusion of the company's EyeSight Safety and Driver Convenience System. This provides 3D camera-based adaptive cruise control, lane departure sway warning, pre-collision automated braking and throttle management, and lane keeping assist. Other systems, such as reverse automatic braking and blind spot detection are optional or available in packages for the Forester. New for the 2019 Forester is a driver focus system Subaru has developed to prevent distracted driving. This driver monitoring system uses facial recognition software to identify driver fatigue or distraction, and integrates with the EyeSight software to alert the driver and avoid accidents. The system can recognize up to five drivers and add convenience such as preset seat positions, preferred climate settings, customizations for the multi-function display, and more. This new system is standard in the 2019 Forester Touring model. The exterior of the 2019 Subaru Forester features a new design that is more rugged and contemporary to the segment. We see elements of other best-selling crossover SUVs in the segment in the new Forester's design, though, and aren't terribly impressed with its generally S2 look. Subaru has not really been known to get excited about exterior designs and this new Forester really emphasizes that point. Inside, though, the 2019 Forester has lots of goodness. In keeping with the Subaru philosophy of get out and do things, the interior of the Forester is somewhat spartan appearing and utilitarian, but doesn't seem to be skipping on comfort points. The cabin is roomy and, Subaru says, has more noise, vibration and harshness dampening throughout. Automatic climate control is now standard in all models of the Forester, and heated rear seating is now available on a touring model. Subaru Starlink connected services are now available on most trims with upgraded infotainment and includes the new My Subaru smartphone app for remote access to the vehicle's climate and ignition. Wi-Fi and concierge services are also now available for the Forester for the first time. New for the 2019 model year is a Forester Sport model. This trim point changes many aspects of the Forester to make it more fitting for faster-paced lifestyles, Subaru says. The grille has a black gloss frame and the rear roof spoiler and 18-inch wheels are also black to match. Orange accents black underguards, and black roof rail mounts are also there to denote the sport status of the Forester Sport. 
The interior is dark grey with orange stitching and other orange accents for the sport model. What's really changed is the driving modes for the 2019 Forester Sport, which offer sport sharp modes to enhance throttle response and transmission changes for a more dynamic drive quality. The new 2019 Subaru Forester will go on sale later this year.